Fora TV. The world is thinking. Question really was, what are the top three things the average person can do? I mean, if these standards and you know certifications aren't out there, what can we do now? Whether it's in the use of it or the purchasing. And one interesting example was, or question, I guess, is should we delete documents on our work and home computers so it won't take up space in servers? I hadn't thought about that. But if, the, if Bill, I know you have some ideas, by the way, on not turning over computers as much. And then, Sabot, if do Bill and then, and then go to you. I, I, I don't think that deleting documents would make much difference. Um, but the biggest thing you can do, so I'll, so I'll give you three things. The first one is every computer that's been sold in the last three to five years has what's called power management features. People are familiar with this on your laptop because it's important to actually make the battery last longer than half an hour, right? So the computer goes to sleep when it's been idle for more than, say, 15 minutes. The screen dims, other things happen, the hard drive spins down, it uses less energy. That's really important when you're running on battery. Guess what? When you're plugged in, it's still important. You're still using electricity, you're still using energy when you're plugged in. You, should use, you can use less of it by using these exact same features. And every desktop, every laptop has them. Most of them are not set to actually take, take advantage of them. So it's a little bit like buying a hybrid car and then most of the time disconnecting that big battery that helps make the car more efficient. That's what we do with the computers we buy. Um, it's kind of silly. So if computers had, you know, if they glowed really bright representing the amount of energy they used, when you weren't using it, you'd probably find a way to make it stop glowing. So you should just imagine that your computer is glowing and put it to sleep or set it so it puts itself to sleep um, and then it will wake up typically very quickly. Um, there are definitely issues and have been especially until a couple years ago with, with older computers where they might not go to sleep properly or might not wake up. If that's true, then stop using it or, or just shut it down. Um, but most computers it should work fine. So that's number one. Um, basically turn it off in one way or another when you're not using it. Second one is when you're buying, look for Energy Star or, and or EPEAT. EPEAT basically incorporates Energy Star as the energy efficiency measure and then goes on to specify much more sort of broad life cycle, use of toxics, et cetera. Um, I don't know that, I don't think there is an EPEAT label that you will find in the store or, or even perhaps on a, one of the manufacturer's websites if you're going to buy. Um, but you can go certainly to the EPEAT website and search through their product catalog. Um, you can also go, in fact, to the Climate Savers Computing website. We have a, a product catalog which is focused on energy efficiency, um, but today identifies Climate Savers Computing starts with Energy Star as its baseline, and each year for the next several years is going to raise the efficiency bar. Um, and so I would encourage you to buy Energy Star slash EPEAT or better and, and to look for products like that. And then the third thing is We've got to tell the manufacturers that, in fact, there is a big demand and really a big consumer demand, not just a commercial demand, for efficient systems. One way to do that is to go to climatesaverscomputing.org and pledge that you will do those first two things. And that will send a message to the manufacturers as we get more and more pledges. At the moment, we've got, I think, about 215 companies, state governments, nonprofits, universities who, who've pledged, as well as close to 6,000 individuals. We'd like to get that up to a million individuals. And I think if we can get that number of people pledging to buy more efficient systems and to make clear that they really care about energy efficiency in this kind of equipment, the manufacturers will say, hey, there's a market there. Let's compete and, and try to, to win that business.